Hello friends, this is Dark Scream, and welcome back to the PTR. There's been some updates this week, some changes, so I thought we'd go through them and then we'd test out our couple of builds. So we can take a look at some of the changes. Uh, not too much has changed in the class tree. We've got Abduracy in the middle. Uh, some of the other things shuffled off to the side where they wouldn't be as uh, accessible, because they're honestly not as important, like Turn Evil, for example. Uh, Lightforge, Blessing, oh, you can't see it here, but for Holy and Prop, this now has a benefit. Uh, last week, that was one of my complaints. Uh, now, Shield of the Righteous will also proc a heal, if used by Prot or Holy. A weird thing is, they've done some restructuring on this tree, such that there are things that only Rhett will see now. So, Punishment, the successful, crusader, or successful Interrupt, you get a free Crusader Strike. The other specs do not see that talent, only Rhett does. Extension of Crusade here has been just gone, it's just removed. Uh, it's replaced with this, Hammer of Wrath always critically strikes. Uh, so this changes things a little bit with some of the new talents that are on the right side, as we'll see here. Uh, so they've done some minor movements around here too. Uh, this used to just lead into an auto pick, now you have a choice, or you can pick both. They've taken the survivability uh, option and kind of put it in the middle as a freebie talent that you know, kind of have to take one or the other. Uh, we used to have this paired against a choice node with Unbound Freedom and Healing Hands. However, it looks like they made it to the class tree. So that's nice for Prot and Holy, getting access to a couple new abilities. Moving down here, uh, they shifted some stuff around. They've gone ahead and added... Uh, Secondary effect not yet implemented on these capstones here. Uh, the conversion talents still aren't working, so that's a little weird. But you can see how they shifted this around, so uh, now you can kind of go right or left or down. It used to be a little more interconnected at the bottom here. That is no longer the case. Uh, balance changes have not happened for Divine Hammer and Blessed Hammer, so they're still really not very usable. Uh, Inquisitor's Ire and Empyrean Legacy got a little adjustment. They're down to 20 seconds, so that kind of combo that automatically will happen off your Templar's Verdict or your Final Verdict, that will happen a little more often. Some more passive cleave in the single target build. Uh, it's unlikely that an AoE build would ever take these, right? The AoE build's likely to go Tempest and likely to go Blade of Vengeance to get that big... Uh, Big line on Divine Storm, and then big cleaving, expurgation blade of justice, right? So, not too, too much has changed here. Uh, Might was playing at a one-minute cooldown when he switched to it, so I figured that out. It actually was one-minute cooldown last build as well. It just doesn't show that until you swap, so I'll show you what that looks like here. Boom, and now it shows one-minute cooldown. Uh, so it'll only show that cooldown once you select the talent, which is, you know, it's weird, but it is what it is, as long as we know, right? Uh, but this really, they moved a lot of stuff around, and it did break the previous builds that I posted in the video, so I wanted to do a quick demo. I've gone ahead and made five builds this time instead of four. We've got two single targets, two cleavers, and one kind of hybrid that's actually going to take both elemental trees. Now again... Uh, some of these builds are more optimal than others. The numbers haven't had their balance tuning pass yet, so you can't get too excited about any one particular thing. I will say, in this build, it still stands that uh, if you want to be doing AoE, you're probably going Blade of Vengeance and into the fire side. If you want to do single target, this uh, new education talent, Hammer of Wrath kind of uh, Crusader build seems to be the best way to go. Uh, I will notice that... Before I go in, a couple more things changed here. Um, Divine Wrath. So they got rid of the extension uh, talent that was in the class tree, and now you just get a flat couple extra seconds. Doesn't quite feel as good, but let's be real. I was getting Crusades over 60 seconds last video, right? Now, it is worth noting, uh, I haven't recopied over PTR, so I'm a couple item levels lower than I am on retail, but just to take a look at what my stat lineup looks like, it's a pretty fairly normal ret. Uh, Breakout, I think. Haste and Mastery Heavy. And my incredible amount of avoidance. Not that that helps us on the DPS meter. Alright, so the first build we're going to try is the Crusader single target. This one likes to um, use Execution Sentence. It likes to try and space out its Blade of Justice to keep Expurgation going. 
uh, and it's got one rank of High Lord's Judgment, so we're able to uh, get a little more out of our judgment. So here we go, we're going to open up, we're going to cast Crusade, Final Verdict. And during our execution sentence, we want to try and get as much damage out as possible. That means Hammers of Wrath and Judgments. We don't want to miss any Hammers of Wrath, especially if it resets. Um, it automatically crits, and it casts that little Blessed Hammer. So, there we go. Now what I'm trying to do is, one, I don't want to lose uh, Judgment procs or use finishers when I don't have a judgment prop, if at all possible. Two, I don't want to miss any Hammer of Wrath props, since they are currently, I think, the highest uh, damage GCD that this build will have. And then the last thing, you can notice uh, Expurgation, normally it has a 6 second duration. If you refresh it, it goes, it caps out at about 7.5, 7.9, something like that. What this means is, you can actually refresh the duration of Expurgation before it expires, um, but you're looking to have the duration down at like 2 or 3 seconds left before you hit Blade of Justice. And if you really pay attention, I'm having trouble doing it now because I'm talking, uh, but if you really pay attention to while I do this, you can see uh, it'll actually be a DPS game if you're able to keep the Expurgation going, and if you do it right, uh, you can pretty much keep it refreshed, right? You can make sure it never drops off. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Now, they did nerf the Crusading Strikes, Holy Power Generation. It now occurs every other swing. So you'll see, oh, yeah, I just got my first edge seat GCD in this two-minute playthrough. And we're coming up on time here as a... Uh, Crusades, cooldown ends, that's kind of the timer that I've been using. So we'll step away. Yeah, we're doing around 70k single target with this gear set. Not too shabby. So we'll go ahead and try the Ashbringer single target. Now this one is a little more focused on uh, using Wake of Ashes in the mix. So when we do our big execution sentence, what we're looking for is Vengeance Wrath to be up, then we'll throw that. And we'll throw that, and we'll throw that. I've already made a mistake here. I think I wasted a bunch of holy power, but that's okay. Alright, you know what? I think I'll just fast forward this one, and let's see how we do. Alright, that's been about two minutes. Let's take a look at the damage breakout here. Uh, so our execution sentence... We did make a little mistake here with some of the execution sentences. Our cooldowns got desynced, unfortunately, but still, that's a... See there, it got the biggest hit of 286k. So, at least with the current balancing, it certainly feels like execution sentence is a must-have for single target. Uh, expurgation, looking at the damage breakout here, you can see... Ah, uh, there's a little bit in the middle where I left it off, but for the most part, I kept the dot with a uh, pretty good uptime, 83%. Uh, judgment, looking like it's my number two ability. It's hitting pretty hard as well, although Divine Toll's Judgments factor into this too. Uh, and then Wake of Ashes, Truth's Wake. It's interesting Truth's Wake does almost as much as, as the ability itself. Um, you look at here the amount of damage it does. And then you compare it to Seething Flames. I don't, I don't know why anyone would ever take Seething Flames. Of course, Numbers Tuning hasn't quite been done yet. Okay, the next uh, build we're going to test out is the hybrid build. Now, my in my experience, of course, this didn't do as good at AoE or single target as any of the specialized builds, but this is kind of a middle of the road. It's, uh, it's going to have the procs from both sides. It would be a little bit elementally confused, but these uh, Burning Crusade, Holy Crusade, Blades of Light don't actually work yet, so it seems like a good time to test this build out. Uh, so this one does not run Execution Sentence. We can just get going and fire away. Here we go. Alright, coming up on two minutes here. And actually, this build just outperformed uh, both... <laughs> both of the other builds, so how about that? Uh, so there may be something there with both the physical and the fire damage buff that that ends up being optimal. 
Uh, so I'll include this hybrid build in the links in the comments, as I did last time. Okay, so let's uh, change it around. So we're going to look at some cleave builds. Now, I will say right out the gate, this one is suboptimal. The reasoning is, uh, Blessed Hammer is still using the numbers it was using for the prot spec. Uh, so what that means is it does no damage. It also doesn't seem to benefit from any of these talents, so the ones that reduce the cooldowns, the ones that increase Crusader Strikes damage, all that stuff, doesn't seem to benefit Blessed Hammers. But we're going to use it anyway just to see how it feels. Uh, the other talent I'm taking is Divine Hammer, so that's the one that replaces Consecration. Uh, it's roughly the same damage as regular Consecration, maybe a little less, but it generates a Holy Power. Personally, I find that having these two abilities gives me too many buttons to press. It's just like uh, extra, extra GCDs that are going to slow me down, but we're still going to test it out just to, just to get some data, just to see how it feels. So, here we go! So the one thing is, I'm still not sure with blessed hammers, do I just like keep casting them? I don't think so, I think I want to keep uh, Blade of Justice on cooldown. Alright, let's fast forward this and see how it ends up. Okay, we're coming up on two minutes here. Let's see how that ended up. So we're pumping a uh, 120k AoE. That seems exceptionally low, right? And when you take a look at the damage breakout, you can see why. Blessed Hammer just sucks. It just sucks. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm sorry. This Blessed Hammer is the one... There's two kinds of Blessed Hammers that you have, see? So, Blessed Hammer is the one... The one that is holy damage is the button that you're actually pressing. And then Blessed Hammers is the one that is holy strike. That's proccing off of Hammers of Wrath when they crit, and Hammer of Wrath automatically crits. Um... You can also see we're actually getting our Seal of the Crusader. Since we don't have Crusading Strikes, the damage actually appears on the on the damage meter. A Divine Hammer as well. Just, just not. It's just not doing it, right? Um, not only that, but I was having trouble even finding the correct place to press the button. I probably ple uh, hit bre Blessed Hammers some of the time when I should have hit Divine Hammer. However, I still thought I would share this build. It's a playstyle. It's a vibe. Uh, the numbers clearly haven't been tuned yet, but if you wanted to try to be an AoE guy who is currently using hammers, lots of lots of the hammer builds, kind of staying on that side of the Holy Strike tree, this is the build you would use. Uh, I did not opt to go for Holy Crusader because this talent does not work. It doesn't do anything in PTR right now. Uh, so, of course, once that is fixed, uh, we would probably do a bit of different version of this, where we would convert our Expurgation into Holy Strike. But since, since that can't be done, we'll go ahead and try our next Cleave build. So I called this one the Fire Cleave. Uh, this one's going to be doing some more damage, obviously. It's going to have Wake of Ashes and Truth's Wake, which is where the AoE damage really is. We also have our Blade of Vengeance. So we're going to be doing the same kind of thing, hitting the Blade of Vengeance and Expurgation on all those targets, hitting the Judgments that cleave on the targets, and on this build we have Crusading Strikes, so we don't even have anything on our button number two. Uh, this build has less buttons. A lot less buttons. So let's see how it does here. Now this build doesn't have High Lord's Judgment, so we're getting that, getting that a little less. All right, let's fast forward this and see how it does. All right, coming up on two minutes. Three, two, one. Let's get a week of ashes in there. 
So this build did almost twice the amount of damage on five targets that the previous build did. Let's take a look at the breakout and see why. Uh, so our Expurgation and our Blade of Justice and our Divine Storm carrying. We have our Wake of Ashes and our Truth's Wake also carrying. Our Judgment is hitting for 50% damage but hits five targets. Crusader Strike hit for five targets. And here's where we start to see some of the diff, right? Consecration automatically proccing out of your Blade of Justice. That alone is... Uh, well, on a single target, it's not very impactful. On a multi-target scenario, you can see how much more damage it does uh, compared to the Divine Hammer build that we were using. And likewise, Crusader Strike, look how much more damage that does over the Blessed Hammer's uh, option. So definitely not tuned yet, right? They are still working on this. They still are. Uh, one thing I noticed was this build got a little GCD, uh, dead GCDs. And I actually found you can tweak some of these talents, uh, even though this one benefits Crusader Strike, and that doesn't help because we have Crusading Strikes. Um, switching to Swift Justice, because Judgment has a lower cooldown uh, than Blade of Justice by default, uh, can get you some more buttons to press, kind of remove those dead GCDs. A uh, couple of the talents kind of have this, actually. There is also an interesting thing where you can go uh, Boundless Judgment instead of the two charges, and I feel like that goes really well with High Lord's Judgment. Uh, we kind of saw that in the Crusader build here. And so it'll take a lot of tweaking and a lot of simming as we go through these builds to see which ones actually work better with some of these options. Um, because depending on how you've built it, it might make more sense, for example, to have a frequently cooling down single judgment that puts three debuffs and gives two holy power. Or you could have a less uh, frequently cooling down judgment that has two charges and some amount of debuffs, one, two, or three. So that gives you quite a lot of modularity on the class. Uh, maybe this would change depending on your level of certain stats as well. Like, I, I am blessed to have a pretty high haste count, right? Uh, nearly 4,000 haste on my gear. Um, if you're lower than that, you might have more dead GCDs. Your stuff isn't going to cool down as quicker. You're not going to get as many Crusader auto attack procs. So uh, your mileage may vary. But... I kind of wanted to make this video as a follow-up to the newest update just to kind of show what the new builds could be. Now I have heard tell uh, some people are finding some success with uh, like Final Reckoning in AoE. I haven't found that success. I feel like it's not keeping up the way that it used to uh, compared to some of the options that I have now that are just more consistent. The way Final Reckoning really used to work was, you know, that stacking modifiers thing, right? You get your Crusade, you get your Seraphim, you get your Trinkets up, you get maxed on Holy Power, you judge the targets to make sure you can open with the uh, Final Reckoning finisher, finisher, builder, finisher, finisher, right? Basically, you want to pump all that damage out in that 10 second window, or actually it'll be a 14 second window if you go down to this talent here. That said, I, I really haven't uh, felt good about Final Reckoning. Execution Sentence, I personally don't like how this ability feels, but it does seem to be doing some good damage, right? This may end up being part of the single target build standard if it remains as it is. I have also heard tell that it's benefiting from some things that it shouldn't, because it used to be a holy power finisher. Uh, and that keyword means that it's connected to certain things um, perhaps the Blessing of Dawn, perhaps the Judgment Spell, perhaps Divine Purpose. All these things that make the Holy Power abilities better, they should not be affecting Execution Sentence anymore, but they seem to be. Uh, on the other hand, if you take this talent, then Final Reckoning and Execution Sentence should be counted as Holy Power abilities, since they, they are generating, right? Same, of, same as uh, Wake of Ashes. But Final Reckoning does not count, does not connect to any of these bonuses or talents. So seems like Blizzard's trying to figure out 
what should connect to what at this point. They're mapping out some of the synergies. Uh, and as noted at the start of the video, they still have some secondary effects not yet implemented. Uh, so we're wondering what these might be. This one, Education, actually it's pretty cool. So when your Hammer of Wrath Critical Strikes, which it always will, when your Hammer of Wrath Critical Strikes, always, it casts a Blessed Hammer that deals Holy Strike damage, which is cool. You see over here we have this one, Swift Retribution, Some Haste, and Secondary Effect, not yet implemented. So we don't really know what this is going to be, although the guesses would be it's going to be something obviously fire-related, dot-related. Could be a free cast or something like that. My wish list for the talent rate, uh, talent tree right now is, uh, I know they haven't done tuning, I know they're not at that point yet, but I really do wish they would touch up the damage numbers for Divine Hammer and Blessed Hammer, because uh, right now they just don't feel, that it's very obviously not worth it, right? It's not like, oh, they haven't tuned this, and it's, you know, it's something is 5 or 10% better, it's like twice as good not to take this talent, it's actually ridiculous how bad this talent in particular is. It's still balanced for protection. Um, the one comment I have heard about it, though, is I guess in PvP it has uses, like if you're kind of kiting someone. I know, a ret paladin kiting, right? Can't imagine that. But uh, here, I'll take the talent so we can see how it works. But if you're kiting back, you can kind of throw these, right? So you go, ah, I'm, I'm going to kite you away, and then I'll run away, and then I'll throw another one, and then I'll run away, and then I'll throw another one, and then I'll run away. You can kind of make this little obstacle course of hammers. So that's kind of cool for PvP. Uh, and I will say, it's it's neat that this cools down really quick, right? Uh, with a 4.8 second cooldown, and that's without Crusade up. So that's, that's pretty nice. I will also finally say, uh, each build I presented today uses Crusade. I couldn't find a use case for Avenging Wrath Might. Um, what I'm thinking is there will probably become a one-minute build, or maybe, you know, a one-minute build that uses Execution Sentence, that or Final Reckoning, uh, where you could just kind of, because you can line up Execution Sentence with your other big uh, cooldowns, so you can hit your Wake of Ashes, you can hit your Divine Toll every other time, uh, and if you're really savvy, you can kind of mix in your Empyrean Legacy slash Inquisitor's Ire proc, However, since that one's on a 20 seconds, uh, it feels like it'll desync sometimes, but shouldn't be that big of a deal, and you can just hold or wait or minor adjust your, your rotation. Plus, in a real fight, you know, you'll be running around, you'll be doing things, you'll be dodging stuff, so it's not like everything will line up perfectly anyway. Last wish list, I would say, is right now I'm still feeling like I'm... I... I feel like they remove Radiant Decree, which removed a finisher, and now I only have two finishers. I have Final Verdict, and I have Divine Storm for AoE, and that's it. Uh, and now, with this new Education Talent, making Hammer of Wrath uh, spit out blessed hammers, Justicar's Vengeance doesn't reset your Hammer of Wrath, Final Verdict does, so there's definitely not a huge reason to use this one. Uh, one talent I didn't test in this video was Vanguard of Justice. Now, I did test this off-camera, uh, but what I found was with the nerfs to the Holy Power generation, especially in Crusading Strikes uh, as well, they did a couple of things that aren't listed on the tooltip, but, uh, for example, Art of War can only proc once during Crusade, which is kind of weird. Um, but in any case, when I tried to play this build, at least uh, with 2 out of 2, I never could quite get enough Holy Power to make it uh, work. I always ended up with dead GCDs waiting waiting for the Holy Power to fill up to 5. So there may come a time when this actually is more viable, or maybe if you're fully raid buffed, right? Maybe if there's an encounter where you have a major haste buff, right? Uh, but just at face value, it didn't feel worth it to me, even with the potential for a Divine Purpose proc, right? So you, when you get your Divine Purpose proc, uh, you still get the 40% increased finisher damage, but it just seemed awkward, and there were a lot of dead GCDs, and it dealt slightly less damage than the other builds. So I'll report back on this one next week, uh, once they ship some stuff around, 
Well, that'll about sum up this week's PTR testing. Uh, I'll include the builds I tried out in the notes if you'd like to try them for yourself. And sure enough, on Tuesday, they, well, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, they'll wreck these builds, they'll patch the PTR, and we'll have something new to cover. So at that point, I'll see you. If you've enjoyed what you watched here today, go ahead and smash that like, press that subscribe. It'll help me show up on your feed a little more often, which helps me and helps you if you're a Wreck Paladin too. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Again, my name is Dark Scream. Peace.